whatever it takes. That's exactly what it was. Uh, as you get through having a really, no lead's really comfortable, but having a decent lead and then having to battle back a double overtime, it's just that time of year having to do whatever it takes. Yeah, um, so they say. I mean, it's always good to win. We take those as they come around here. Um, like I always say, we just got to win the rest. And if you win, everything takes care of yourself. How nice is it that you could at times, as everybody had to be running out of gas, that you could lean in different directions. You carried it for a while. You could get it to Tyler. Even Nico and H could do some things that really helped out to finish this thing. I mean, that's who we've been all year long. Everybody um, plays winning basketball, and everybody wants great things for the squad. So the fact that you can put the ball in anybody's hands and good things happen just goes to show um, how everybody's always staying prepared and how everybody's always staying ready. Jimmy had some extended, abs extended absences. To see a guy like Tyler in his third game back go four <laughs> go 48 minutes. What does that say about, I guess, one, his youth, but two, his fortitude to push through to 48 minutes in his third game back? I mean, more than anything, it shows that he's a winner. He's, he's always willing to do whatever it takes um, with guys down, um, stepping up and doing whatever it takes to win, man. Um, this time of year, you do want to get in your rhythm, you do want to get in your bag, but more than anything, whatever it takes to win, I think he was the epitome of that tonight. How much does tonight kind of represent how, how much Nico's grown just in the uh, start of the season? I mean, I don't know about y'all, but I'm a, I mean, that dude's been doing that for a long time. I, I've seen it, you know, I've seen the work that he puts in. I see the film that he watches. I understand how much that he cares about the game and how much he cares about winning. So, I mean, I, I know who he is, I know the type of player he is, and I know, honestly, how much money he's going to make in his league. What's it were really hurting you guys on the offensive boards for a while, but you guys shorted up, especially in overtime when everybody's tired. Like, what does that tell about you? You know, the effort you guys put in. You a, a Hawks reporter? The what? You a Hawks reporter? AP. Yeah, I figure, man. <laughs> uh, whatever, man. We was, yeah, but yeah, no, no, no. They're they're a great offensive rebounding team. Um, we I think we did a, a decent job in the in the first half. Got away from us a little bit in the second. But uh, in the end, when we needed to get rebounds, we really did. When we needed to get stops, we really did. When we needed to score, we really did. So kudos for them, for sure. But um, I'm glad we got one. Obviously, winning out is the easiest path to, at worst, being at home at the start of the playing round. But it's a back-to-back -back against Dallas. What's it like to go into a game like that after expending so much in a game like this? Uh, we'll be all right. Like I always say, don't nobody care. We got a job to do on our home floor at that against a really good Dallas team. So, man, a little bit of buckle up, ice your knees, rest your backs, whatever it takes, and go get one. Uh, my teammates, my coaches, trust me um, to, to step right back in. And, uh, you know, the preparation I put into it, um, I take that very seriously. Um, and I always have and I always will. How are you feeling physically after that? Um, just again playing 40. I'm, I think I'm, I would assume it's a season high. Just playing that many minutes in your third game back. Yeah, uh, I feel good. The biggest thing is always how I feel the next day. Um, but you know, hoping I feel, you know, up to playing tomorrow. I know they didn't want me to play back to backs, but I'm open to it. So just got to see how I feel tomorrow. Do you have a game like this where the ball's put in your hands at the most important times after being away for over a month? How good did it feel to sort of get a chance after the six weeks later to be the man? Um, I mean, it felt great. Like I said, my teammates and coaches ultimately trusted me with the ball, you know, in those overtimes and at the end in the fourth quarter. Um, you know, without them, it's not possible because I need their support. And Bam, you know, Jimmy, the rest of the guys, they really – you know, allowed me to be myself. Do these games feel like more? Because if you win out, at worst, you have a home game in the play and at worst, maybe something better. Do you feel it? Is it pressure or what do you feel? Definitely don't feel pressure. Um, but, you know, it's obviously that time of the year, you know, we are all paying attention to the standings and it's so close of a race um, between six, really the whole East from two to eight, nine is really tight. And, um, you know, this is the best time of the year for the NBA. You know, we get to really compete and compete for something at the end of the day, which is getting into the playoffs and hopefully making a run at it. You got to the rim a good amount these first three games back. How much of that has been an emphasis for you after returning, just generating more as you look for yourself at the rim? Yeah, uh, just being aggressive. You know, I feel like I'm quick with the ball. I'm shifty, you know, with the ball in my hands. Um, coach has been on me to 
get a couple more easy buckets at the rim. So, I mean, that's what I've been trying to do. There's always this mentality about digging deep, second nights of back to back. You're going to have to dig a little deeper <laughs> as a team to have to deal with this. With uh, Dallas probably already in the air and on their way to Miami after their win in uh, Charlotte. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean that's what it's all about. You know, you don't want it to be easy. You know, this is um, like we always say for competitors only, and um, you know, it's you don't want it easy. So let's let's get on this bird and hopefully get some reasonable sleep and then we can uh get after this tomorrow i mean it did last long um you know i mean that's what we built for for the competition and uh that's what we work for of course we're not happy because uh we had a good lead after the first half and that's 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 uh really happening a lot lately where you know in uh one half we're playing unbelievable and then second half we just stopped playing great basketball and uh but you know we got through it. That, uh, like I said, that's what we do. We got in the mud, and that's where we're best. I could see a guy like you looking around and saying, "That's Jimmy Butler. That's Tyler Hero. That's Bam Adebayo. Maybe I should get out of the way." You tonight really stepped forward. Did you just sort of see when you were needed, and the things you did sort of had to get done? I mean, I had to get you know things done. You know, and where is it, either if it's uh, you know dribbling the ball or. Uh, uh, screening for Tyler, or you know, uh, I had to attack. You know, pass, pass. You know, pass it to Age. Great shooter, knock down the three that we needed. You know, and uh, I'm gonna do. You know what, the, what they and what coaches want for me, and uh, that's it. You know, it's one thing to get the role that you've had for a while now to be a starter, called upon to get games going, but now to be called upon in closing moments, that has to be the, the next kind of like. Okay, now I'm, I'm really in the mix now. Yeah, I mean, uh, it feels great. It feels great, and that's where I see like coaches have trust in me, and that that's what I work for. And I, I hope you know it's uh, it's gonna continue to be like that. You know, I got to show them that, you know, I can help this team win, and that's the most important thing. Two straight games that you've played some minutes at backup center. What what's different about that role? What do you like about that role? What's kind of coach's yeah. message to you yeah. when playing in those minutes? I mean, you know, I'm uh, I'm there kind of plugging those minutes for Kevin Love. You know, I think uh, he's still you know coming back from injury and. Uh, I don't think he, he's still, you know, 100%, and I, I feel like I can sort of, you know, bring what he brings to the table, where, you know, I can space the floor for Jimmy and, uh, and Tyler and also, you know, be a great screener. Crazy, huh? I see, I see.